Hello guys and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you two caveats or limitation of Excel tables. So let's get started. Now the Excel table has a collection of amazing features such as structuring of data, automatic formatting, auto expanding, easily sorting and filtering, total row and the amazing structured references syntax which I use so much. Now, despite all this collection of features, it does have two limitations. So, in number one, when your data set is stored in an Excel table, it becomes impossible to perform what is called subtotaling. So, let's see that in practice. Now, this data set is stored in an Excel table using the Control T or Control L keyboard shortcuts. Now, when I come to the data tab of the ribbon, under the outline group, the subtotal button is automatically unavailable for selection. Now, this is because subtotaling is not possible based on data sets stored in an Excel table. Now, the workaround is to convert the data set back to an Excel range. Now, in the table design contextual ribbon tab, I can see under the tools group, the button to convert to a range. Now, before I do that, I'm going to turn off the banded rows under the table styles option. So, turn off. And then click on convert to range. So in this dialog box, just go ahead and click yes. Now the data set is back to range. Now I actually want to create the subtotal based on the account of managers column in column D. Now before I do the subtotaling, I'm going to right click and I'm going to sort either A to Z or Z to A, which is very important step before performing the subtotaling. So click on A to Z, that's fine. So I can see all the list of the account manager, and then we'll put the subtotal at each interval so having done this i'm going to come to the same data tab and then you can see the subtotal button available for selection which is fine click subtotal and then in this subtotal dialog box and you can see at each change in the account managers column which is fine and of course it's going to perform some aggregation and of course you can change to let's say count average max mean or product but let's go with the sum the default and of course i will perform the subtotal not only on the total row but on the unit price columns which are the three numerical columns in the data set so once i'm fine just go ahead and click okay and then we can see the subtotal working pretty fine in the range so we can see the subtotal for account manager named abjela davy we can see for charlie adams and so on and so forth and of course we have the amazing outline by default, when you create a subtotal, it shows the third outline, okay? Now, when I choose the second outline, it's going to show the value for the subtotal for each of the account manager without the individual records. Now, the outline one is going to show the grand total. So, that is how to work around the subtotaling when your data set is converted back to Excel range. So, in number two, I've got these two sheets in it sales for 2015 and 16. now the reports are also stored in an excel table now i actually want to move or copy the two worksheets to a new or an existing worksheet so i'm going to hold down the shift key, shift key and click on the sales for 2015 and then i'm going to right click and just move or copy create a copy in the existing work, workbook and then let's choose a new book now when i click ok so what i'm going to get you cannot copy or move a group of sheets that contain a table and that's the second caveat of excel tables now the workaround is again we're going to convert back to range so convert to range. click yes come back here uh, in the table design convert to range click ok now when i hold on the shift key and i select the second sheet i can right click i can move create a copy and then choose a new book or an existing book and when i click ok this is going to work pretty fine so next Excel table you cannot use the subtotal and of course you cannot move the two worksheets that contains table at the same time so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please like share comment and subscribe to this channel thank you and bye for now cheers